So Next Digitron has released a new dash camera called the Next Digitron Ace. Now I have made a detailed video regarding the Ace dash cam and in case if you have missed that video you will find the link to that in the description of this video. And now since this has been released many people are confused among which of these two dash cameras to buy the A3 dash cam or the Ace dash cam because the price of both these dash cams are more or less the same. So what's basically the difference among them and why you should consider one over the other. So first of all before I start the comparison I want to make sure that you understand the basic difference among these two dash cameras. Next restaurant A3 has been designed for parking monitoring and it comes with an optional hardware kit. So if you are looking for some parking surveillance for your car and you want to monitor the car and its surroundings at night or whenever the car is parked, well the Next restaurant A3 is the right camera for you. The Next restaurant Ace has been designed with the mindset of having a GPS logger with the camera. So the Ace comes with a GPS logger which captures the speed of the car and the latitude longitude position of the car whenever the car is mobile and the dash camera is turned on. So if you want some tracking information of the car which you can download later once the dash camera has stopped recording, well then this is the right camera for you. So this means that the next Digitron Ace doesn't support a parking monitoring and it doesn't support a hardware kit. Whereas the next Digitron A3 doesn't support a GPS logger but it supports a hardware kit. So this is the most prominent and the major difference between these two dash cameras and based on this you should decide which camera is your preference you want a gps logger camera which records your car speed your lat long position whenever you're out on a drive or you want a camera which has a parking surveillance and which can monitor your car at night and whenever your car is parked via a optional hardware kit so if you have a clear preference in mind based on this particular difference well the decision is very much easier for you you can go ahead either with the a3 or the ace based on your requirement so now since we have got the main difference out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at the form factor of both these dash cameras and see what are the differences so taking a look at the form factor of both these dash cameras as you can see the next Digitron a3 comes in a rectangular form factor and there is a separate attaching mount for the next Digitron a3 which you can put in and remove easily and there is a dedicated hole for the mount to go in so you just need to place in the mount and slide it down and there you go the mount is ready and you can go ahead and attach this to the windshield the point to note is that the camera itself is not rotatable and once you attach it to the mount the camera becomes completely rotatable so it can tilt all the way down and can even attach to windscreens which are flat in nature such as jeeps or thar so taking a look at the next Digitron ace as you can see the camera is attached to the mount itself so this is the mount part of the dash cam and this is the camera and the camera is already fit inside the mount also the point to note is that the ace dash cam is 330 degree rotatable so as you can see the camera itself rotates based on your convenience whereas in the a3 you will have to attach it to the mount in order to rotate it front or backwards also the point to note is that the next Digitron ace has a easily detachable sticker mount now in case of a3 the sticker mount is attached to a hinge which in turn rotates the camera front and back but in case of the next Digitron ace the rotating hinge is present within the camera itself and only the sticker mount is a separate accessory so this is also very easy to install now you just need to go ahead and slide the camera down into the sticker mount and it gives you a click sound showing you that the mount has been perfectly adapted and then you can go ahead and rotate the camera based on the angle you require for the video recording so this is the major difference between the way you can go ahead and uh, attach these two dash cameras to the windshield now both these dash cameras have the next digital branding at the front and also the cameras are placed on the right side now this is an f1.8 aperture camera and this is f2.2 as indicated in the front of the lens so taking a look at the bottom of these dash cameras both the cameras have a mic slot at the bottom and there are also some ventilation holes at the bottom for the next Digitron A3. There is nothing as such for the next Digitron Ace. Taking a look at the left side, it's nothing here on the Ace and there is a speaker grill on the left side of the A3. Taking a look at the right side, now this is another area where there is a major difference. You have direct access to the micro SD card and the recess slot for the next Digitron Ace. And also you have a type c usb port in case of the next digitron a3 you have a rubber lid which you have to go ahead and open out in order to access the micro sd card and the reset slot the power port is present at the top of the camera and this is a micro usb port on the back of both these dash cameras there is a speaker grill for the ace and there are two led present here in case of the a3 there is no speaker grill but there is an led indicator which shows the recording condition now also one more thing is that since the a3 supports parking monitoring there is a led at the front which indicates the parking mode status once the car is parked 
there is no LED indicator as such at the front of the next Nextron Ace. Now before I start with our detailed specs, let's go ahead and talk a bit about the price point of these two dash cameras. Now both these dash cameras come in two different variants. The Ace comes in a GPS and a non-GPS variant and the A3 comes with a hardware kit and a without a hardware kit. So each of these variants have their own price points and at the current going on Amazon sale, the prices have been reduced. You can go ahead and purchase this at a offer price. The next Nextron Ace with GPS comes at a price of 4289 rupees and the non-GPS variant comes at a price of 3699 rupees. The next Nextron A3 with hardware kit comes at a price of 3945 rupees and the A3 without the hardware kit comes at a price of 3625 rupees. So following that, as I told you previously, the major difference is that the Nextron Ace has a GPS support, whereas the Nextron A3 doesn't have a GPS support. Now both these dash cameras come with a super capacitor and they don't have a battery inside and the recording resolution of both the dash cameras is 1080p at 30 fps. Now the Nextron Ace has an f1.8 aperture, whereas the Nextron A3 has a f2.0 aperture. The Ace comes with a Novatec processor and the A3 comes with a Sigma Star processor. Both these dash cameras have a 6 glass lens along with one IR filter and the field of view of both these cameras is 140 degrees. The next Nextron Ace works with the Onreal app which is available both on Play Store and Apple Store whereas the A3 works with the Umera app again similarly available on both the platforms. And as told previously, the Ace doesn't have a hardware support and the parking mode is not supported, whereas the A3 has a hardwiring support and parking mode is supported on this dash camera. So these were the technical specifications and the differences in price of these cameras. Let's go ahead and take a look at what matters the most, the video quality and the license plate readability of both these dash cameras. Now starting with the side-by-side -side footage of both Ace and A3, now as you can see, at the place of the arrow, the sky is more bluer in the A3 footage which indicates there is a higher level of saturation on the A3 compared to the next Nextron Ace and the next Nextron Ace footage does look a bit warmer compared to the A3 footage. But there is a one part of difference wherein as you can see at the wall on the left side, there is a higher exposure on the A3. The following that both the shades and the highlights of the video footage do tend to look very much similar and as you can still make out I guess the Ace footage is slightly warmer in temperature compared to the a3 footage. Now going ahead and taking a look at the license plate readability of the car parked in front. Now let's zoom in. So here is the license plate readability of the next Nextron Ace in daytime condition and I think this is a really excellent read of the license plate. Now taking a look at the same footage of the next Nextron A3 of the same car standing on the left side of my vehicle. Now as you can see this is also a really excellent read of the license plate although I think this is a more softer image compared to the next Nextron Ace. Now going ahead and comparing this side by side, on top you can see the Ace and on bottom you can see the A3 license plate. The next restaurant Ace license plate durability has a higher contrast compared to the A3 but both of these dash cameras are capable of reading license plates at a close range. Now taking a look at the nighttime footage of the next restaurant Ace, it does seem a bit darker at first but if you go ahead and zoom in on a license plate as I have shown you right now, the license plate readability is pretty decent at night and this is what you can expect out of a 1080p camera at a very close range. Now taking a look at the same footage using the next Nextron A3, this is slightly brighter footage because of the higher exposure and if I go ahead and zoom in on the license plate due to the higher exposure, the letters seem to be a bit out of focus but nevertheless you can still make out the number plate and it's not as bad compared to the next Nextron Ace. Now taking a side by side look as you can see the higher exposure of the A3 is making the letters a bit out of focus at the top and in case of next Nextron Ace you can see them a bit more clearly due to the lower exposure. Now comparing a side by side night footage of A3 and Ace at the first instance you won't be able to make out any difference and both of these cameras will seem to show you a very similar experience, a very similar image quality and there is no major change among the video quality so both of them have a very much same pattern of recording nighttime footages. So guys this was the video samples comparison of the next restaurant Ace and the A3 along with the license plate readability. So in conclusion regarding the video quality I think both the cameras perform in a very similar manner there is no major difference and I think after watching this video now you have a better idea regarding each of these individual cameras and my recommendation is that you select the camera which is based on your requirement. 
and if you want to purchase any of these cameras the links to purchase them will be provided in the description of this video so just go ahead click down on the description you'll find all the relevant links right there and if you want to go ahead and take a detailed look at the next restaurant a3 or the next restaurant is as told previously i have made detailed videos regarding the next restaurant a3 and also my previous video was regarding the next restaurant is the links to those videos will also be provided in the description so if you want a more detailed look go ahead and take a look at those videos and then you can go ahead and decide which camera you should go ahead for so guys this video has taken a lot of effort and a lot of planning to bring in front of you so make sure to recognize that effort and go ahead and hit the subscribe button of travel tech right away and make sure to go ahead and like this video too so many more interesting videos coming up in the future so if you have any queries or doubts regarding any of these two dash cameras do write down in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so thank you for watching and until next one see you